हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक शॉर्टकट्स यू डिमांडेड इट एंड आई प्रोवाइडेड इट द मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटिंग मेथड वाज सिंपलीफाइड फॉर यू इन वन ऑफ द वीडियोस व्हिच आई पोस्टेड यस्टरडे एंड यू ऑल लव दैट एंड यू वांटेड मी टू कम अप विद मोर सच अमेजिंग क्वेश्चंस इन व्हिच द कोफिशिएंट्स आर इवन मोर लार्जर इवन मोर लार्जर राइट सो नेवर माइंड लेट्स हैव वन क्वेश्चन इन व्हिच आई विल बी फैक्टराइजिंग लुक एट दिस 63x square plus 16x minus 255 equal to zero. And if it is factorizing, then obviously it has to be the polynomial. Now, if I have written equal to zero, so I will factorizing and solving both at the same time. Fine. So let's get on with this question now. So you can see the coefficients here: 63, 16, and 255. They are huge coefficients, and splitting the middle term can really consume so much time. but little bit of patience little bit of smart work and you are through let's see how so the teachers are going to tell you you have to find two numbers whose sum is the middle term here the coefficient of the middle term plus 16 and whose product is the product of the first and the last term that is 63 and minus 255 now once the teachers tell you this you are now in a state of you know confusion how will you find such huge numbers and moreover the teachers are making the task even more complicated by asking you to multiply these numbers and then to see which two numbers will get you that product very difficult indeed but 63 multiplied by 255 i'll take care of the negative sign later let's split 63 and 255 into its factors So 63 is 9 into 7, right? So 3 into 3 into 7, and uh, then we have 255, which uh, is divisible by 3 again, and uh, then uh, we have 85. 85 means 5 times 17, right? So I have split these two numbers into its factors. So rather than multiplying them, I have split it into its factors because my answer, the middle term split factors, are hidden here. in these six different factors which have been obtained now i have to convert these six factors into two factors such that the sum sum is 16 no the sum or the difference is 16 now that's where the teachers you know they are committing a mistake the students are continuously looking for factors which add up to 16 but actually the difference also can be 16 i'll show you how if you take the see a difference or product has to be uh, the difference or the sum has to be 16 right so you can be logical in thinking there so much of good things you know are there in mathematics which you apply and uh, you uh, get to the answer within no time okay so if i have the first four product product of the factors here 3 times 3 times 7 times 3 this is going to give me uh, 9 okay so uh, this is 27 and 27 times 7 is 77s a 49 and uh, 4 means 189 right and the other two are going to give me 85 now you can see the factors are 189 and 85 and they are not going to give me a sum or difference of 16 so likewise i have to just combine these factors and uh you know arrive at a conclusion that a particular thing is going to give me the required sum or the difference now for the sum or the difference to be 16 i need to change these i can't take these four factors and then uh, take uh, those two factors alone so i'll change it now let's see 3 into 3 into 3 into 5 and then uh, 7 into 17 see i have taken all six So this is nine twenty-seven five times is one thirty-five, and this is nine one one. Okay, one hundred and nineteen. Now can you see one hundred and thirty-five and one hundred and nineteen? They are having a difference of sixteen, and that's where my middle term split is done. So the middle term split factors for this number are one thirty-five and minus one one nine because that's what is going to give me plus sixteen as the sum. Splitting done. Now change the sign minus one thirty five 
and 119 i told you in the previous video also and now divide by the coefficient of x square that is 63 so you will have your final answer for this particular question so i have already done it for you so that you can save time on this the negative part is going to give us okay so i think these are divisible by 9 so 9 7 times is 63 9 uh, 15 times and then 119 and 63 i think they are divisible by 7 so 7 9 times and 7 uh, 1 and uh, 7 uh, 49 7 7 times so your answer for the questions is minus 15 upon 7 and 17 upon 9 look at the solutions of this quadratic equation a huge quadratic equation and we managed to split the middle term very easily 135 and minus 119 using the factors of the product of 63 and minus 2 to 255 so look for more videos uh, like this and you can make actually the questions you can make yourself you know and uh, uh, practice this middle term splitting because this is what uh, will ensure uh, success in uh, the board exams class 10th and obviously in competitions you get a lot of such questions in which the middle term has to be split and uh, uh, quadratic equations have to be solved so friends if you like this video do share it with all maths lovers and do not forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell icon for getting all the notifications of the future uploads thanks for watching this video friends